Like Kevin don't even give him the costume that's bulletproof, man. Kevin is a good and he was talking shit. Yeah, he was. He was like, yeah, shit. Yeah, what you going to do? You want to put a target on my ass? Yeah. What? I got to paint a target on my ass? <laughs> ass? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Not... You will live with this shit. Watch this. Watch this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Only my costume is bulletproof. Oh, <laughs> Go tell him that shit while he's falling. Flipping and falling. Flipping over and down and shit. Why, you know, why is Kevin oh, even there? Oh, God. Because he guilted him just going and adventuring with me. Well, he also, he can... You want to save it? Yeah, we well, yeah, we'll see if we can reach. Save but man, you know how we always laugh at shit when people are talking, <laughs> when people still talking while action's happening? Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Only my custom is pulling <laughs> <laughs> you said to let me do all this shit. Why are you so bad at it? He told him after his ass got shot. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I told my cousin. Before there was Black Panther. Before there was Blade. How dare you? <laughs> before there was Black Panther. Before there was Blade. How dare you, sir? How dare you? There was Blank Man and Meteor Man. Yes. People in that. For black folks, that was the early 90s, and that's all we had. Sure, that was, that was Batman and Superman. For, yeah, for, for black us. Folks. Now, that's hey, all they would let us yes. have. Now, may, may, maybe, maybe, maybe. Every now and then, maybe. Brown Hornet, for those who know about oh. that. For those, for those who know, look at me. Afro so big, it fills the whole screen. <laughs> it was a rough choice, man. It was. It's what is what they used to call back in the day a Sophie's choice. <laughs> they, oh man! They, but we had, we had people that would, and this is something you don't know about, about about black culture and black people. Every person, every black person, uh, has had a gun put to their head and said, "Which one, black man or meteor man?" <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah, you know what? <laughs> no, no! Wait, 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 no! Pull the goddamn And believe it or not, a lot of people said, well, shit, I don't want to die. Blank man. Blank man was Did always, the, yeah, but if you, if you had to pick one, blank man always had the edge. I don't know why, because I never saw it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, he looks like a ninja turtle. Yeah. But but people but people that for some reason blank man was always the choice and I never saw it but today I get to see I get to see what saved many a black person's life. Blank man. Now stand back. Ah. Okay, there you yeah. go. Yeah, stand way back. Yeah. So, huh? Okay. Yeah. So, folks, I'm the only that now. Martin has never seen this either. I, I haven't. You know? Did you ever see this? When I was a kid. When yeah. you were a kid. Yeah. Fun memories, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Streets had all come rushing back. <laughs> oh. So. Robin Givens. Let me see here. So let me. So so this movie, and I should have had this up already. But this uh, the, the, there's an interesting uh. There's an interesting uh, story behind this this movie right here. A lot of people are thinking, why 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 blank man? Why why did this movie even exist? But there's a reason why they did a blank man. It's because they could not do a handyman movie back in the day, in the early '90s. There was a show called In Living Color, and one of the <laughs> one of the sketches that. Damon Wayans did it at the time was a character that he felt like he said certain there's a certain group out there that needs representation. Oh. So he decided to create a character called Handyman, right? <laughs> complete, complete with the handyman pose. Right? Yeah. Oh man. You know that you can't, boy, you can't there, there's two reasons why you can't bend that wrist today. Cause it'll be it'll be homophobic and it'll be making fun of handicapped people. It's homophobic if the hand fingers are out. So if you do a fist, yes. then so there you then, go. Then it's ableist. Well, I just I just choose to keep my hands up, man. There you go. But this was, again, people, that was the 90s. Well, we got away with a lot of shit in the 90s. I'm a man of few words. 
My first motherfucker to laugh over here. Right over here. Yeah. I wish I had a camera to what, show what you. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you, you monster. It's like a party. Now, hey, first one to fall asleep. First, first one. Now, 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 I'm going to tell you something. We all wanted to laugh, but we kind of held back. But he was the first one. To say to all those who never believed in the power of the handicap, and this is his badge. <laughs> Something else you can't do. Damn, but I like the way my man, it. he said, it's out. Yeah. I'm laughing already. Now I'm going to have a good time with it. Look, 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 back in the day, we all laughed. And it was representation. Oh, we no, it was. That, they, really, he thought that this I was... I mean, it was one of those things where, like, nobody does this. Nobody e even acknowledges handicapped people. Yes. So this is... You know, it's a joke, but it, that's what it is. He actually he did mean to do it in a way that he says, believe it or not, yeah. <laughs> I'm paying respect to handicapped people. Well, that, and, that, and that was the thing. It was funny, but it was also, like, it was like, oh, man, that's wrong. But it is like, well, he is representing, wait, like, he's not ignoring the people. Yeah. It's just, it, it, was, it was always the visual, though. People are just, people are always laughing at that crazy. Because I, I ain't going to lie. Like, today, like, that, that, uh, that shit ain't going to fly. He said, you want a bitch? <laughs> no, if you were in a bar. <laughs> Man, but that's the thing, right? It, it's wrong, but it's not wrong. You see what I'm saying? No, that's the best that's part the, about because, it, right? Because it's, 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 it's somewhat accurate. Yes. And that's what, if you were in a bar and it came on, and you would and you would go like, man, this this is some. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And you go in the bathroom, you laugh your ass off, and then okay. yeah, straighten yourself up and come back. That's not exactly representation. Remember how he would fly? He would just fall out. Of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, come back, come back, come back. This time, this time, this time. <laughs> he, he would take it and just hit the plane. He would just he would just he throw, just he would throw himself out of the out. window, and it, then somehow end up back up in the air. It it, I, it came across as, as disrespectful. But at least he was acknowledging that the people Mark existed. Yeah, yeah. Right now, people are talking about you, Martin. <laughs> I acknowledge that it's not right, man. You, you know that. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> hey, look, you had to have this step to get to the steps where people did it correctly. Because up to that point, everybody was like, I'm going to do uh, nothing. Step? Okay. You mean, Mark, you mean this step? <laughs> <laughs> this so with this, they're trying to, look, they're not taking anything too seriously right here. This takes place in a fictional city. I believe it's called like Metro Illinois or something like that. But as usual, the mob is trying to take over. They have a mayor that's trying to clean up crime, but it's, it's not working. Yeah. The town needs more than politics. The town needs even more than the cops. The town needs a superhero. And that superhero is Blank Man. Not uh, the hero they want, but the hero they deserve. They, yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, well, and keep in mind, there's another key point to the plot. The cops don't give a f Town. No, they don't. They, they, no, that, they're that's not. the whole. That's the, where he gets so upset. A lot about. of the service people aren't getting paid, so right. the town is just rampant with crime. Uh, as a, again, like a lot of superhero origin stories are, including <laughs> Batman. So mm -hmm. anyway, to get on with the with the actual movie though. Uh, now here's what's funny. So when this first comes on, for for a second, for a second, like if you don't. If you haven't seen Blank Man, don't know what Blank Man is, and you just cut this on right at the beginning, you might think that this is a this is a nice black pe black people period piece. You know, got the ice cream man rolling. You know, this look like this look like some Spike Lee might have directed. Yeah, you know, you might humor. think you might think you watching Crooklyn or something. You know, at the beginning, <laughs> but no, you ain't. and then and then <laughs> almost immediately. You know exactly where you are, because you see these two idiots right here. Yeah, he's flushing! Trying to, te tearing up the house, trying to watch Batman. Uh. Forking the TV. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what they've done, now this is actually kind of, this is actually kind of funny. Right. I, I'm not going to lie, this is actually kind of funny because what, they, what they're doing is, they're so poor uh, that they got to kind of rig the, the, the house to watch uh, Batman, so they they hooked up 
tin foil and strain to the toilet. They got to keep flushing the toilet to wash the TV. It, it, you know, honestly, I think that that was a. Uh, it, it, it's a funny gag. No, it is a very funny gag, mm-hmm. man. Because we've all listen. It's relatable for everybody. I mean, unless you were just in a super duper rich family that had amazing TVs, we've all tried to watch a channel oh, that you way. You never had to use a coat hanger on your TV. Yeah. Wow, it must be nice. Or, bouge. or a fork. Or a fork stuck yeah, in, the, in the middle of it. <laughs> that visual had me laughing, man. Yeah, just jammed in the Out fucking of all middle. All the shit that they could have used, they used a fork. Like, you know, somebody got electrocuted doing that shit. But you know, they were like, it's metal. Fuck yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> Do something. Yeah, man. It, but it was it was funny, even when the opening. T- even when they cut to modern times, because what you saw right here, that was a uh, blank man before he was blank man. And his uh, brother, Daryl, and his and his brother uh, Kevin, who will later be played by uh, what's what's that boy's name? David, 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 David Allen Greer. Oh. So, so uh, they cut to modern times. I, I found the beginning kind of funny, even despite the open. And I want you to listen carefully. Let me see if I can turn this up. Oh. And it's he, David he, Wayans he, Jr. who yeah. became a, a star in his own right. Uh, yeah. Even even despite the opening song being uh, terrible, you, I mean, <laughs> you gon' you gonna laugh your ass off. <laughs> I'm just y'all, just a couple of years. He gonna laugh his. He's he's about to he's about to laugh the top of his lung right here. Back off of that mic right there. Yeah, black man, the mama makes me cool with me, baby. That's my favorite is that's your sub alert. Can he say my life? Can he say my, can he say my life? Me, that black man is cool with me, baby. And you know what he's doing that for? He sounds like Antoine, the, the homeless dude yeah. from In Living Color. Yeah. What he's doing that. He don't sound like black man or handyman. Got my bed every day. <laughs> Bang man, my peoples. Make sure you can get out of my top of my butt. It, it's, and keep it's talking smoky. while I'm going down. <laughs> hey, Bang it, it, man, he cool with him. Bang man, he fucking my gun with me. Bang man, he didn't fucking Shut down. Shut down. Powering down. <laughs> That's Prince's band, the New Power Generation. Oh, really? Now, I don't know if that's the if that's it, but they did do a song for the movie called Superhero, and Prince actually wrote a song for the movie. I don't know. If, now it might have been one of them songs he wiped his ass with and said, "Here, take it." Yeah, yeah. He, he would do that, especially yeah. for, for for the New Power Generation. Yeah, Prince would just find songs on the bottom of his boots and be like, yeah, I want this at, shit. At, yeah, at the point when the New Power Generation did a song without, I mean, an album without him, he was like, all right, here's a bunch of shit I'm never going to record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go with that. Take this don't, shit. Don't y'all come in here again. <laughs> so, 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 there's some, so there's some trivia for you. What are two superhero movies that Prince wrote songs for? <laughs> Batman. Batman. <laughs> ba- <laughs> Batman. And Blank Man. And <laughs> for the bitch, you got I got, I actually have a lot of good things to say about this movie. Like, I got some comments compliments for this film. Uh, I gave you one already. You know, I'm, I thought the beginning was funny. Some genuine laughs right there. But, you know, if, if I compliment this movie for anything, I compliment it for this. Blank Man is probably the world's first mainstream autistic superhero. The autistic community has never had that before. But they do now. It sucks that it's Blank man, you know, dude wearing a goddamn uh, bed sheet and a dish rag for a, for a mask, but they wore a heavy ass cape. Yeah, heavy ass <laughs> cape. Yes, yes, got blanket, that yeah, on. I'm a crime fighter. You know, but but sometimes you take what you can get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we we. <laughs> Let's, That's the story of our lives. I, 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 I tell you what, autistic community, let's let's make a deal. You 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 take blank man, we'll take media man. I know that they say that he's a geek, but back in the day, some geeks were just nerds. We didn't know were autistic. Oh, I, oh, absolutely. Yeah. It, it, every time, yeah, you you go backwards and you look, you're like. Oh wait, that dude I thought who was extremely nerdy, he was actually on the spectrum. Yeah, there's a lot sure. of autistic kids that got their ass beat because they just thought they were nerds. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of bullies just living regret today, like, damn, if I had only known, mm-hmm. I would have been easy on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And this guy wouldn't be a super villain. Yeah. Early on in the movie, you think that uh if you don't know anything, you think that okay, the the Daryl played by Damon Wayans, oh he's just a he's just a nerdy guy. Morning, Kevin. Ah, Daryl, man, come on. Sound activated aerodynamic insect predator. A uh, what? Now see, that's that's why I thought he was a nerdy because I've had several of those conversations with my mama talking that nerdy shit. And it's like a what? 
you talking about? You need your goddamn serious. Yeah, yeah, funny. exactly. So I just, you know, so I need to look at this, and I, and I thought I was even thinking like, yeah, he's just a nerd, but it soon becomes way obvious that this goes beyond nerdiness. That this, you know, as we always say, this this dude is on the spectrum. See, you put this in your ear, and then you talk into the buckle. Kevin, come here. He's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's back when you could use that word, and that's back when we thought that he was just being geeky. You know, a lot of times we just thought like he's just weird. I, I I feel like this is your mama talking to you when Early's over. Yeah, well that's a that's a deep dive. They don't know who Early is, yeah. but Early was way on him more than this dude. But but you know the thing is his social skills, you know they. they you know they 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 he they're off. His social skills are off. His way of of uh, his way of living life is just you know it's this is it's not normal. You know I mean the, the his glasses held together by a fork. Fork. I was gonna say. You know, I, was, I, was, I was waiting for you to say. You know, I, you say saw, I knew I said. Because I know Billy was like, "Is nobody gonna mention this goddamn fork <laughs> holding his glasses together?" Oh wow. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, see, I was like, yeah. if you don't talk about this fork on his glasses. <laughs> Nobody gonna say nothing about that goddamn fork on his head right now. Really, that, I'm no, I'm the asshole that sees this. Was that the fork that was in the TV? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. He's not a total idiot. He's actually pretty brilliant. This fool's like a ghetto Tony Stark, man. Yeah. Y- yeah, like, like they, you know, okay, so he don't have billions. He don't have billions of, of dollars to, uh, to, you know, to, to make, you know, these, these cool gadgets out of. So he just takes junk. And he just makes, you know, he, he just makes all this crazy looking stuff out of it. I mean, yes, it, yeah. it, look, it looks stupid. But again, when you in the hood, you ain't got no money. You do the best that you can. Yeah. D- didn't the, the, the dad from Gremlins try to sell that same idea? I ain't gonna lie, man. I laughed when I saw that. He was doing that shit with, doing, the, with the toothbrush. With the toothbrush right yeah, there, I'm sorry, yeah. I did. No. No, I mean the thing is supposed to look stupid, but the whole face. but the whole thing with the movie is that he makes this stupid shit. Yeah, but it works brilliantly. It works. Shit, he might be he actually might be smarter than Tony Stark. Tony Stark needed billions of dollars to make a robot. This dude just takes grandma's busted ass wash tub and makes a a, a, a sentient being out of that thing. Okay, make the turn, make the turn. Watch out for grandma. Yeah. Okay, Tony's shit worked better, but, you know. He's again, with junk, though. Yeah, no, but he's working with junk. Put one of the fry guys' heads on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. From, uh, from, from McDonald Land, yeah. or whatever that is. You know? and, 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 isn't Pee Wee Herman looking for that thing? <laughs> and uh, and and, here, and here's the funny thing, you know, in a, in a twist that I at a twist that I did not see coming. Again, paying respect to, and you know, we're not telling you the movie in order. We're just you know giving you the the main points right here. Uh, in a twist that I didn't see coming, he gets the girl. Thank you, blank man. Now, why she stays with him? That's another question. <laughs> She's like, what the f- did I just do? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, I just killed him, man. <laughs> she looked back like, I know he's not. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You nasty mother. Exactly. <laughs> if you don't get your nasty ass away from me, give you a little piece of kiss. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't give you a hand job. Right. I just gave you a kiss. Shit. Jay Five. What's happening? Shit, Jay Five. Like I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Jay Five. Jay Five. Shit. Robot ain't that dumb. He says, "Shit, you're on your own with yeah. that. Man. Ain't touching you." I told you to come down. Yeah. Man. Jesus. Why she with him? I don't know. Plus, plus your man is is plus your man can just get a little creepy sometimes. Blank. <laughs> I, I know whose window he's looking through right now. <laughs> Man, uh, I, I laughed more than I thought I would. Dave and Alan Greer. Let's see what the thing that goes on with him getting the girl in this. Uh, him getting the girl made Dave and Alan Greer's character Kevin made that even funnier because uh, Kevin, the brother, he set up to be uh, he set up to be the cool guy. You know, even at the beginning of the movie. At the beginning of the movie, he. You goddamn smuggling holes out his apartment. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that blank man, that he would, uh, that he would be, he would just be the big hero of the movie, while Kevin, he would be the cool guy uh, who's content 
with uh, with getting the girl because he's sitting on, he's in on Robin Gibbons in the movie. He works with her. He works at a TV station where he works on like a, a cheap ass tabloid uh, show. Yeah, he's a cameraman. Yeah, he's a cameraman. Yeah, he works in the basement. And uh, so <laughs> he showed up. He showed, they, they, they even said that they're like, "Oh, go to the dungeon, go to the basement." And I was like, "God damn, he really is in the basement." Talk about that basement a little bit too, but you know. Uh, so I thought he was just going. I thought he was going to get the girl, man. I'm going to tell you by the end of the movie, Kevin don't get shit. Kevin gets nothing. Kevin don't get. <laughs> Kevin, no. Kevin don't get no girl. Kevin don't get no thank you. Kevin don't get no respect. Nothing. Nothing. You remember this? Yeah. By the end of the movie, he's actually worse than he began. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but <Marcel>, oh, no. <laughs> uh, because the movie, you know, like I said, the movie opens up with him sneaking chicks out of grandma's house. By the end of the film, he's just a dude in a stupid ass costume. And. <laughs> 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 hey, that part was funny though. No, that no, that part Where is hilarious. Like, Yo. Yeah. <laughs> and not only does he not not only does he not get the girl, but she's constantly using him and kind of admits that that I'm using you. Like you you were the you were the last person that I was actually looking for and he falls for it. Hello. I'm not busy tonight. What do you want to do? You want to go out to eat? Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind and my best cameraman's sick, so I'm desperate. She's, he's like, God damn, you had to put that desperate part yeah, on yeah. that. <laughs> I mean, you could have just asked me for a favor and normal. Right? I mean, yeah, yeah but I'm, I mean, he's probably more like, like well, desperate, I can work with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, he is. He is. No, he falls for that all the time. Shit. Hey, it's a start. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. You got to begin somewhere. It's, it's, it's a wedge. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, even if I'm getting at, getting at desperate. Like, Kevin don't even give him the costume that's bulletproof, man. Kevin is a good yeah. <laughs> And he was talking shit. Yeah, he was. He was like, yeah, shit. Yeah, what you going to do? You want to put a target on my ass? Yeah. What? I got to paint a target on my ass? <laughs> ass? Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Not... You will laugh at this shit. Watch this. Watch this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Only my costume is bulletproof. Oh, <laughs> Go tell him that shit while he's no, falling. Flipping and falling. Flipping over the side of shit. Why, you know, why is Kevin oh, even man. there? Oh, God. Because he guilted him just as going and adventuring with me. Well, he also, he can, do you, you want to save it? What yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll see if we can reach. Save but man, you know how we always laugh at shit when people are talking, <laughs> when people still talking while actions happen? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Only my custom is pulling <laughs> <laughs> you said to let me do all that shit. And why are you so bad at it? He told him after his ass got shot. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> I told my cousin, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should have told you before you got shot. I have a bullet costume. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> David Allen Greer is just a funny guy no, anyway, really. man. A, a Juilliard trained actor. Yes, <laughs> look, true. And look at where God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I look at his career all the time and I'm like, fuck, you went to Juilliard. Why is he having to do this shit <laughs> over and over? Hey, man, that's hey, right. Yeah. Again, what I tell you earlier, you work with what you got. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's all he had. That's I all know. he got. I know. <laughs> Can't keep him down though. He pops up and everything. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. He he does work. Oh, but yeah. it's like all right, Christopher Reeve, Reeves, Reeves, Robin Williams, yeah. Oscar Isaac, David Allen Green. Yeah. And what color? All those. Other I, people. Know. I know. I'm saying, I know. I know. Yep. Yep. Let me see here. Let me see here, y'all. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, you'll tell you'll tell it later, but that's another reason yeah. why he wants uh, David Allen Greer there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. we'll get to that. Oh, <laughs> look at you, you two co-conspirators. Uh, no. <laughs> well, it's all rushing back to me. Yeah, now. It's coming back. Like yeah, it's coming, it back, is. To it's coming back to me now. <laughs> I see. <laughs> twenty years. <laughs> Over twenty years. It's coming back to Billy right now. That's the way his yeah. face is looking right now. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh there shit. It is. There it is. And I'm looking now like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I bought the T-shirt. Oh. Too. Oh, Billy, it's coming back to you because your mind is clear because you're uh -oh, not very uh -oh, high uh -oh, right uh -oh. now. <laughs> People, we're talking about blank, man, but you don't want to be blank in the head when you're smoking that good stuff out there. That's what I want to tell you about dad grass. 
Dad grabs me. <laughs> Dad. I knew it. I was like, that, that brother paused way too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, you don't you, you don't want to be like this when you smoke ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of feel like you do. Yeah, exactly. Like, you don't be falling all over the place and being stupid, you know? Hey, man, you want to you wanna enjoy yourself. You want a clear head, man. And that's why I'm recommending dad grass. Now, dad grass, first of all, if this goes up on YouTube, YouTube, we're not promoting drugs. This is 100% legal right here. This is, uh, and we're promoting this to adults. So do not think we're being dealers out here or anything. But dad grass, not only is it legal, but it's organic hemp. And like I said, man, the way they put it, I like using their description. You know, I usually like to make my own, but they said it's like drinking a glass of wine and not the whole bottle. Unless you're Martin. Martin says, I <laughs> up on that. I, like, I love the whole bottle. <laughs> yes. But this right here, you can enjoy the effects of the CBD while keeping a clear head. Have that euphoric feeling. Being able to sit up there and still talk to people, communicate, have a conversation, and not sound as stupid like I do when I try to smoke the other stuff. I know, and that's that's the and it really is a good uh, 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 it, it's a huge problem for me, huge problem for me when I I try to you know go all the way, try I, to hang with the big kids. Yeah, I, I cannot. Me either. I cannot Can't do it. Even a small little edible, the wrong thing, will make me mm -hmm. go. Yeah, I was hiding in the bathroom two weeks ago at a <laughs> at a at an Afro Man concert. True story. So, but with this. Dad grass, man, I, I, uh, they sent me a lot of this, and I've sat in the backyard so many times and have just mellowed out. You know, I don't do a whole lot of inhaling or smoke. I, I just, it's just me. So they also have tinctures that you can do. Put it right under your tongue and enjoy yourself. Nice. Yeah, and like I said, I've used all of these, man. I'd like to try that. No, I have some, man. I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you try it. Yeah, like, like you, I'm not down with smoking or yeah. putting stuff in my lungs. Plus, I, I'm a little asthmatic, so it doesn't, it doesn't always agree with me. But I've, had, I've, had all, I've actually had all of this, and I've been good, man. I've enjoyed myself very much. So I want you to enjoy yourself, too. Oh, folks, <laughs> go on over to dadgrass.com forward slash toasted and get 20% off your first order. And I want to thank Dad Grass for sponsoring this portion of the show, and I also want to thank all of you out there for your support. All right, let's move on here. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, listen, <laughs> I really, I, I appreciate that the movie takes nothing seriously. Uh, because 15 minutes into the movie, around 15 minutes, uh, Grandma, who we'll talk about in a little bit, uh, grandma, who's played by Lynn, Lynn Thigpen. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's in this. You'll recognize her when we show you more of her. But uh, Lynn Thigpen, character actor. Oh, you might know her from uh, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. <laughs> she's the one that says, Gum shoes. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> or a ton of black judges on Law and Order. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's true. Right. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She, she, she was the black chick with authority back in the yep. day. But. Uh, she plays grandma here, and 15, into the, 15 minutes into the movie, grandma's been, run, been trying to help the mayor who's trying to clean up the town, and the mob ain't having that, and the mob comes in and, and mows grandma down. Oh, dang. Hand it over. Good evening. Michael Manelli sends his regards. His scene is done. He's still shit. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Time to be yeah, he, he, shit, grandma on the ground already twitching his shit. My thing is the guy going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't like, see the, nobody else in that room. No, ain't nobody moving out. He's just looking at him. <laughs> but grandma's murdered. Now, what I say is like they don't take anything seriously. So grandma's gunned down. Now, this even in a comedy, this would be the the point of the movie where they ain't taking it just a little bit seriously. Not here. They at that funeral and they playing that <laughs> they playing that shit up straight for laughs. And Kevin don't give a <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I didn't like grandma anyway. <laughs> well, he's all embarrassed because he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, grandma, grandma didn't love him as much as she loved Daryl anyway. That's true. <laughs> grandma was all, grandma was, uh, Daryl was always grandma's baby. You are a genius, just like your mama. May angels bless her soul. No, oh, but Kevin, boy, she talked shit to Kevin in a minute. Grandma, don't oh, good morning me. You could at least fed that little heifer. <laughs> damn, <laughs> that girl, she's like, damn, what she do to you? Yeah. 
noise late last night. It's a good thing you so quick, otherwise I never would have got no sleep. Damn. <laughs> oh. Damn, Kevin. Yeah. I mean, she loved Kevin, but not as much as Daryl. Yeah, I'll just take my business elsewhere, yeah. man. I'm tired of living here. <laughs> that, that funeral shit is so silly that even the robot got invited to the funeral. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. And we, when, they, when they opened up the funeral, they opened up with the goddamn robot. Oh, <laughs> Everybody over there looking serious. <laughs> and that somber music. <laughs> that, that, that fry guy, uh, yeah. pom pom looking yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sitting right there with these serious ass people. <laughs> I know. Can you imagine those extras? Uh, yeah. Going, really, really have to stand next to this shit. But. Action, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, goddamn Newt Gingrich over here. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. And. It, <laughs> And the thing is, grandma, grandma needed to go anyway because I make up. Yeah, what? Because our old person oh, makeup man. was terrible. Oh, our old yeah. person makeup. It starts over the year. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's, it's that usual cheap shit uh, cotton balls and cake batter, man. Yep. That, that, damn, you ain't lying, boy. That, yeah. And that, that ain't your mama cake batter. Yo, hell that, yeah. That, 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 Dick. That, that, yes. Yeah, yeah because we, we all saw, always saw Lynn thick pin and stuff, and she was never young. But she wasn't an old lady. But the thing is, they show her at the beginning of the right. movie here. Young. Yeah, they show her a little young, and they sh and so they show you what she looked like at the time uh, in this movie. Who's playing with the toilet, Kevin? Is that you? And then, at, right after that, right after the opening crap, I'm talking about like two minutes later, they cut to her with all that goddamn dough on her face. <laughs> oh, no, I'm calling the police. Shut up, you crusty old bitch. Damn, not just the old bitch, crusty <laughs> old bitch. <laughs> Maybe because all that, maybe because all that <laughs> dough was starting yeah, to cook yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that dough was drying up. Yeah, yeah there they go. They, they just got that that cotton ball down. Yeah, that's what they do. They, yeah. they take a thing and they <laughs> that cotton ball. That's what they do tonight. Got that Tyler Perry process. <laughs> yeah, man. All that stuff falling on her face. City. Even the, I mean, ain't no, ain't, ain't, there, there are no high stakes in this. Even the mayor. Mayor ends up dying in the movie. Even the mayor's cool. What? Yeah, they, they, they kill the mayor. Yeah. Even the mayor's like, hey, it's okay. This bag is full of explosives. You did what you could. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> he resigned himself to his fate. Yeah, that like, quick. Yeah. Yeah. You Cause, tried. Because before he's like, give me the yeah. But he's just like, well, oh, guys, right. you gave it your all. No, you it's cool. A shot. You know who that is? It's uh, Peter Lawford's son. That's Peter Lawford's son? Yeah. I did man. not he know that. He looks exactly like him, too. Mm. And you think good. because he's so cool about it, like, well, shit, you know, they, he got a chance. Now, they blow that up. Oh, yeah, one of them Jurassic Park explosions. Yeah, really like that. But we do what we could. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they didn't slow walk away. No, no, them. they didn't. No, he ran out screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Which man. Which he does quite a bit of in this movie. Yeah, th yeah he does. <laughs> he has me laughing every time he does it, too. Even some of the extras in here, they probably were related to the Wayans, because some of the extras in here uh, who uh, who play victims, they're funny, too, because there was a woman in here, an old woman, got her purse snatched, and Damon Wayans, a.k.a. Daryl, a.k.a. Blank Man, before he's Blank Man, he was the only one to help her get her purse back. And... Uh, when she sits down, she looks at everybody else on the on the oh. bus. You, you... <laughs> Rest of you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Blank man, the, the the hero in the movie, is kind of ahead of its time, because long before, long before uh, uh, Batman became a hero who lived long enough to see himself become the villain. <laughs> Blank man, I'm not lying. Blank man. Blank man, he went through the same shit. They loved him. They trusted him, just like Batman. Everyone, please stay calm. Blank man has the situation under control. Five minutes later. Where's the money? Blank man! Blank man was in control here. I, I told him not to go in there. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, I told y'all Blank man ain't shit. Uh, uh, I tried to tell you. <laughs> Wow. And they turn and the whole crowd is ready to tear his ass apart. <laughs> he had to run out of there. <laughs> yeah, he did have to run. <laughs> oh, goofy too when he ran out all by himself. He, he like a puppet. <laughs> yeah. Man, that, that actor, I'm gonna play it again. That that actor who did that, man, that actor's hilarious. That actor, uh, he he sounded like a like a like an authentic New Yorker, man. <laughs> but it's like nobody's listening to you. <laughs> I, I, I 
told him. He's gonna make sure he gets that on the record, though. Yeah. <laughs> if y'all don't quote nothing else, yeah. I told him not to go in there. Yeah. Out of all these compliments, this was still some old bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I was like, how does this happen, man? Because I was laughing throughout the whole movie, but yeah. But, but man, yeah. this is still some old bullshit. Yeah, there's a lot of funny things in here, but there's more low hanging jokes yeah. to be had. Like oh, the ratio oh. is off, man. You know, they can't. They, for one, they can't settle on the tone. Sometimes it feels like a family movie, and then there's other times where they'll, they'll just get nasty. They'll just get nasty just for just for a, a, a cheap laugh. Um, <laughs> So everybody That is the Wayans way It, it, it yeah. eventually worked Yes it is yeah. It eventually goes that way Which is the Wayans way <laughs> Now everybody had that friend <laughs> In junior high Not high school In junior high You hit 7th grade For some reason Everybody had that one friend Who loved drawing dicks and titties <laughs> And he was always in class to, Like showing them to you Hey look You know just, just for a cheap laugh That kid grew up to be This movie right here <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now these are the, the, Twitch I'm about to show you something. That, that, listen this is a PG-13 movie they showed these titties right here it's, it's, they're, they're fake so I, I, I'm hoping that you trust me that I'm not doing anything that's 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 out of pocket here with Hello. your guidance rules okay Daryl what is this that's an aerial view of the Fiji Islands and these That's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's funny. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That was funny. That is, you know what makes it funny? Is Kevin looking at him like, are you f***ing for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe that's funny right there. <laughs> Even though it's telegraphed. It, no, it is. Yeah, it is. It, it, you know, maybe, just, maybe it's me having seen the whole movie because when you watch it just on its own, that's funny. But... They have they they got scenes in this movie where it's full of nothing but just titties. And by they didn't see it's not. They got a they got a scene here that takes place in the the office of the tabloid that Kevin works for, mm. and that room is full of nothing but naked women. However, it's not enough that they, they don't show the titties. That's 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 not cheap enough. That's not childish enough. They ain't, the whole room is full of these naked women, but the, the whole time the titties are covered up with cartoon titties. <laughs> the whole room. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 oh. Like, oh. Okay. Look like a goddamn 50 year old room right there. <laughs> if that's not enough for you, there's a. Uh, okay, now, yeah, yeah, y'all laughing right now, but. <laughs> Y'all didn't have not to sit really. through, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to sit through this shit like I did. Uh, th th if that's not enough for you, there's pee jokes. Hey, hey she's like, she's about to chew her her wrist off. Yeah, <laughs> to get out of this shit. Right. God he, damn it! He could have drilled those holes anywhere. What anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not funny. Now, that shit ain't funny either. Why stop at a pee joke? You can just grab the whole dick. Go ahead and laugh. You go you hold your laugh. Yeah, go ahead and laugh. Yeah. God damn it, laugh. I, 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 I don't get why he's acting like that's painful. He would enjoy that. <laughs> well, maybe it's just a little too hard. Yeah. You know, if somebody puts your dick in a clamp, <laughs> it's like start hurting. Well, like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving him ideas right now. Yeah. Mike gonna be at the show tomorrow. Go ahead and just dick. Go get an emergency room. I like, I like what I like. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah you oh, like what you no. like. Do you have a big finger? Thank you. So, man, man. Yeah, there it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you start screaming, though, it is funny, though, because that yeah, face but is he's, he's, so, he's so good. He's so good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he does the little Popeye shit. Man, they get, they get caught up in this nasty old toilet humor over here that they forgot to actually have Blank Man fight a crime that they actually set up. Blank Man... <laughs> 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 it's true. It's, <laughs> so, Blank Man's walking down the street, and for some reason he sees some stupid ass criminals robbing a house in broad daylight mm -hmm. <laughs> he runs to a, a, a porta potty like to do a superman type closed costume change and of course a big ass fat ass man yeah, took yeah, shit right to, there yeah rubbing his stomach yeah bro yeah <laughs> he should yeah. gotta be like, like there's more in there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, uh, got, got <laughs> most of it up. I'll be back a little bit <laughs> his face <laughs> that ain't done so satisfied <laughs> like he was eating in there yeah, yeah right it, it, yeah. yeah it's almost as if like well he's still fat so he didn't take yeah. enough of a shit he's like yeah he's, he was already taking a shit but he's like you know what I'm gonna have a sandwich and come back and take another <laughs> shit
they don't come back to the dudes robbing the house. No. They never come back to that. They never go back to that. They never go back to that. Those those dudes got away. Whatever yeah. they were stealing, they got wow. it. Because well, they never go back. I mean, by the time, <laughs> if you're the kind of superhero who has to change to your costume, by the time you do that, the, the, the theft is over. But they set it up. <laughs> you know, come I, I on. Know, I know. And they just cut the mother. Like putting up flies about blank man who don't do shit. <laughs> well, they got what they needed out there yeah. because he can't smell <laughs> doo doo in a yeah. body. And so the chat is laughing because right. they talk about chat is laughing. They say he never goes. He never goes back. No, no, no he never. never goes back. They, we never find out what happened to those dudes at all. He, they got this shit. Does he show up at the trial as a witness? No, <laughs> no, hell no, hell no. Those dudes, that's a, that's the one that got away. <laughs> Yeah, you can't, you can't well, stop everything. Well, I, I can't be everywhere. Yeah, you <laughs> you could have stopped that shit though, just because you don't smell somebody's shit. You ain't no hero. Did you see that guy? The guy there? Nah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he, he might takes a dump and rubs the stomach. Shit, it's now. probably a pile sticking out the you toilet. Damn it, man. No, yeah. <laughs> the, also, this is the '90s, y'all. Y'all saw some of this in the you saw some of this in the trailer, but there's. You know, this is the 90s, so there's stereotypes and words that you could get away back then that you can't do now, but they did it back then anyway. Uh, and even for doing it back in, the, in what is it, 94? Mm -hmm. Even in 94, some of this stuff is kind of lazy. So Blank Man inspires a bunch of other superhero types. So instead of just being Blank Man, they got to have their own version of dot, 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 man. Like, you, you, here's now, I'm not saying this word. They say in the movie, they even put it in the trailer, they have Midget Man. Midget Man? What inspired you? <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> I'm a superhero. And th that's also Greg Kinnear right yeah, there. Yeah, Greg uh, Kinnear. Oh, yeah. yeah. They wrote their body in this, man. Yes, they did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they also got, so this is probably the more offensive one. They got. And what's the. the, the, well, the, the well, the other one they got is uh, is Gay Man. I wanted to be in the army, but they discriminate. I would get out there. So now it's not only bad enough for him to be gay man, but he also got to be a hoe. Cruising he says, since I'm, since I'm cruising the streets for dick anyway, because you know that's what gay guys, that's what we thought right. gay guys did back then. Yeah. Just looking for dick all the time. <laughs> the SM on him, too. And, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. Is that the guy who was on uh, Mad TV? Mm, no, 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 no. no, no. That's, no. Okay. You think of somebody else, but yeah, okay. he's been in all this other stuff, though. Uh, <laughs> not as offensive. It, 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 that's what just not enough for. for Gay man to be gay, uh, midget man. They got, you know, it's not enough for him to just be midget man. He, his little ass got to fall all over the studio. Oh, oh easy with that chair. You know, I, I, I got, take it easy with that. I you got, don't want to. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> now, I will say that's Tony Cox being funny. So, no, Tony, Tony Cox. Yeah. Tony Cox, yeah. No, no shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Cox's not cussing, boy. He's like an old black man yeah. every time. No, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's what I'm saying. Some shit I shouldn't have been laughing at. I did laugh at. I, I, I got, take it easy with that. I you don't want to. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> man, if you can't laugh at Tony Cox, and this, this world's not worth living. Man. Hey, that's nothing. That, that's not any more offensive than anything he did. Me, myself, and Irene. Yeah. No, our, all that was our, was just little uh, people jokes. Our bad Santa. Bad Santa. Santa. Yeah, yeah. He went off. Both of them. Yeah. When he was negotiating with the what did you boy? <laughs> Billy Bob. Yeah. Forty nine percent half. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh so the, the, the writing is lazy in this. Uh the the way he do you remember the way he got his name? Yes. Like, man, That's so terrible. It's t it's awful. I mean and the way she does it too. Go ahead. Even for a movie like this, because I, I gave this movie a lot of leeway. Because they, again, they're not, it's a comedy. They're not taking anything seriously. I'm not either. But the way he got his name in here, just ridiculous. Stupid. Stupid. Who are you? What? Um, he's gone blank, man. Oh. Blank man. Oh, but you heard him. You heard him saying. You heard him saying. Everybody was like, "No, I said blank man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, blank you, man. Yeah, Don't you, call him that again." God damn it! You heard, <laughs> uh, heard what the fuck he said. Unless he responds to it, then go for it. <laughs> well, he, well, because because he ain't saying nothing. Well, Martin, he, he did respond to it. Blank man. <laughs> 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 did he just orgasm? After yes, he, he said I think that? he did. Yeah. Well, he did it before. Yeah, he did. yeah that cable's all moist right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Blank Man got a, 
I mean, his whole thing in the movie, he keeps talking about, no one can know my secret identity. Blank men and Daryl are two different people. But when Kevin needs for him to come and be blank man again, that fool is yelling, he's blank man to everybody in McDonald's at the top of his lungs. Hello, Daryl, you don't me. understand. Manelli just took Kimberly hostage. Oh my God, he's got Kimberly? He says he's gonna kill her unless Blank Man shows up. I'm not talking to Daryl. I'm talking to Blank Man. This is serious. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, fair, Somebody no, say what, Blank what, Man? What's, what's, what's a Blank Man? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait a minute. He's Blank Man? I was saying this Ron Dallas coming next week. I'm sorry. That's funny to me, too. I'm like, what? This place is in shape. <laughs> like a dude, dude dressed like a clown. What this place exactly. <laughs> I was like, what? This place is in shape. They just told his ass that. He didn't. <laughs> Yeah, he ain't coming. He ain't coming, yeah. <laughs> it might they be would, Grimace. They were joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, can't they can't decide if the, if the villain in this, can't decide if the villain is a mob boss or an actual super villain. But it takes a real man to do it in sight. Or if he's gay, you know, I don't know. <laughs> well, John Polito is gay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is, is, is he? he? Yo, yeah. I, I, love, I love John Polito. Yeah, he's great. Is, is he dead? No, I think he's still alive. He oh, he was okay. gay, huh? Yeah, he's gay. Because yeah. he, he worked so much for a while and then just disappeared. He might have passed. I don't remember. But I know, but yeah, John Cleto was gay. <laughs> okay. I, I, love, I love the way the mayor looks. Hello, Mr. Mayor! You don't <laughs> kidding me. <laughs> 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 he like really <laughs> supposed to be intimidated with this? Like the guy next to him like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, how, that's yeah. how we do it they also can this, this movie cannot decide if it wants to be just a straight up Batman parody because they don't stick with it the whole time everything post 1989 was a Batman parody well not that's, no not no not no, no, Tim no. Burton's Batman 60s. I'm talking about the 1960s oh. Batman no they can't decide if they want to spoof the 1960s Batman because sometimes They'll do it, and then they'll just leave with it and do just, you know, a generic superhero movie. And then the bat, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the Blank, the blank Man <laughs> logo will pop up. Oh, <laughs> well, you're right, dude's though. mouth. They don't, they don't stick. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stick. <laughs> they don't stick to it because they start. They start the movie off with the kids watching the Batman show. Yeah, uh, and then they they completely let go of it for a long time. Then they're, they're on a, like back to back, you know, like yeah, like, oh, like and that's Rob what they do here, like Batman and Robin did. And so they have a Batman type bat, you know, the '60s Batman with the blam, boom, wow, and, you know, they do all that. But these fools, it's just them tumbling over each other and just yeah. being just just being stupid. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. He's a little right to the camera. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Wait, what? He was, he was ready. <laughs> an accident. <laughs> that, that was supposed to happen. And the filmmaking is really bad in some parts too, man. Uh, I mean, when I say bad, it's bad. It's, it's like you could tell that it's just a quick studio movie. You know, they just mm -hmm. they, 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 yeah, they know, quick care. quick production. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they got dudes in here. They just they just randomly putting the camera on people's faces. They <laughs> they got these bums in this alley and they bums. It's like those old yeah. bums too, like them generic ass bums. Yeah. You know, you, you you can buy like twelve to a box and shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. And like, they, pe like peeps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thirteen for a baker's dozen. <laughs> you know the kind of dress them fangless gloves and shit and just yeah. be standing around with trash cans on fire and. Uh, <laughs> could, you could be where it could be any it decade. Could be, it could be any decade. Yeah. Seriously. And they get into a fight in the alley. Like David Allen Greer, who knows karate, as you say in the movie. Movie, yeah. uh, comes in and starts fighting this pimp and uh, <laughs> sorry just you saying that right now <laughs> fighting this pimp this white pimp this white pimp too <laughs> yeah he starts fighting this white pimp who's smacking as one does yes yeah, one does and then and, uh, they get into this huge fight and the camera just starts zooming in on bums randomly yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> oh, well, the guy seems to be their king, so they're rooting for him. <laughs> I don't think he was. Um, they also got random dialogue inserts that just seem like they were shot at a different time in the movie. Great photo. You're a hero. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it on a good note. Uh... <laughs> what was that? A well, struggle, but you, you can do it. We're waiting. I, I, 
Autistic people love seeing themselves come out on top, as Blank Man does at the end. He saved the city, he got the girl. Or not, you know? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Same thing I had to do before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how we want to end the film. Yeah, that's how you end the, that's how you end the movie. Yeah. Him dying from an orgasm. Right, right, yeah. From a kiss. With, with a crane, expensive-ass yeah. crane shot coming out. <laughs> with, with Robin Gibbons just laughing at his ass yeah, the whole yeah. time. <laughs> Bitch, help me. I'm dying. <laughs> Well, there you go, people. That's yeah. Blank Man. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what? I give it. I give it some. I give it a very high some old bullshit. You know. I, <laughs> I, you know. You, you forgot to say who plays uh, David Langer's boss. Oh, you know what? I should did because he's he's actually great in the movie, man. He's <laughs> just weird, right? It's he, he, you thought he was like this was a Scorsese movie. He's just going for it. He, for a Mel Brooks movie. Oh, here I'll show you, man. Hmm. Let me show you here. Boy, you boy. He's actually. He's actually really good in the movie. Let me see if I can. It was on top of the time too. Yeah. Ninety four. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Give me, give me a second because I want to find. Sure. I want to find the scene that I thought because I looked at. It, I was like, damn, this is actually a pretty good scene. Counselor, when you can be the Messiah. Oh, Jason Alexander. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I read he was you, in this. You, I can't make the Messiah. If you give me an exclusive interview, I give you the blank man. And this ain't a boil on my ass. It's a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's paralyzed from the waist down. Paralyzed from the waist down. I can't feel a damn thing. You through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's actually really good in the movie, man. He's like the sleazy owner of the manager of this uh, tabloid. <laughs> His first thing, he just knock him the way with the wheelchair. <laughs> They had to put a wheelchair in somewhere. Even, there's even a funny scene right here. He says, uh, have a seat. Walk with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, take a walk with me. Have a seat. All right. <laughs> I happen to know that blank <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, that is, that's, that's very funny. funny. I almost want to give this like a, a, a very low, low rental, but man, it's, you know, hey, the highlights are the thing that, like, I gave you the highlights right here. You know, I had to cut things out so they, to show you how funny some of the parts are. As a whole, man, yeah, it's, it, it does not flow yeah. together very well. Yeah. It's a bad movie. By the time you get to that scene, you really need that scene. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. You're like, God damn. Yes, you do. <laughs> In the tradition of Black Panther, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go, people. There it is. That's uh, Blank Man right there.